Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about President Biden and being skeptical of numbers. And a message that I got a couple of weeks ago um, that I didn't answer. Um, and new reporting has made the message relevant again. And now it seems like a more appropriate time to, to respond to it. Um, the message says... As somebody who repeatedly doubts official numbers and has said that he doesn't believe any number that ends in zero, are you going to defend Biden for doubting the numbers put out by the Ministry of Health? Now, if you don't know what happened, on October 25th, the president was talking about the, the numbers put out by the Ministry of Health in Gaza and they were talking about the number of people lost, and he was basically like, and I have no notion as to whether or not these numbers are accurate. And that's what he said. Um, now, to start off with, am I going to defend Biden? I would like to point out that Biden has a whole press team to defend him when stuff like this happens. He doesn't need me. But more importantly, new reporting says that in completely predictable fashion, the next day, he was meeting with leaders from the Muslim American community. And the meeting was supposed to be 30 minutes. And it lasted more than an hour. And during it, he, uh, he said, I'm sorry, I'm disappointed in myself, I'll, I'll do better. Um, and apologized for it. So, here's the thing. You sent this to me because I have a very long and established record of doubting official numbers from anywhere. Anywhere. In any conflict. I doubt Ukrainian numbers when they're especially those that are about the number of opposition that were lost. I doubt those, and I think most people watching this channel know that I definitely lean towards the Ukrainian side there, but I doubt those. I doubt any number that ends in zero, not just in conflict, but in natural disaster or mass incident, because they're estimates. They'll be cleared up later, you know. I have a very public record of doing that. To my knowledge, he doesn't. So, even if he thinks that way privately, you know, and he looks at these numbers and he views them as estimates or something like that, um, the very first time that I'm aware of him ever saying anything like that publicly, it, it was in relationship to what people are widely associating as either civilian lost or children lost. Regardless of his meaning and what he believed, the public perception of that, yeah, that's not cool. That, that doesn't come across right. Even if, he, even if he did it for the same reasons that I do, his, he doesn't have that public record of doing it, so it looks horrible, and yeah, he, he should probably apologize for that, and he did, you know. Um, so, one thing to remember is that there are times when it is best to just not question that immediately and wait for more accurate numbers to come out. The, the reason I don't believe numbers that end in zero, it, it's not because I believe people are lying, it's because they're estimates. I, I believe that they're estimates. Um, and it applies across the board. And it, it, it's very easy to see that it applies across the board. In a situation where there is a, a large amount of civilian lost, it's probably not a good idea politically 
to minimize that. Um, it, I would point out that as somebody who does it all the time, I don't think I've done it on the channel. Um, because it's... When you have that kind of loss, emotions are high. And there's no reason to add any any additional confusion to it. Because a statement like that can then be taken and turned into something that that's not really what was meant. Um, and again, I have no idea what he meant. But the public way in which that was done and the way it was said, and it was very off the cuff. It seemed very nonchalant, and yeah, it upset people. It bothered people. The fact that the very next day, he met with people in private about it, apologized, and actually took the time to hear them out, apparently, um, for twice the allotted time. And when you were talking about the president, the schedule's pretty tight. Um, I mean, that's a good sign, but him saying that the way he did, it, it was a mistake. Um, clearing it up after the fact, good. But it, it was a mistake, and it's not really a, a thing that needs to be defended because he acknowledged it was a mistake. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.